Hi, I'm Lane Mandel, here to tell you that the Sun Lake Streetcar is coming to Tucson. Vehicle testing will begin soon, and it's time for all of us to get Streetcar Street Smart. Portland, Oregon already has this streetcar, and it's a success. A green transit option that's creating a vibrant city with new jobs and new business. The Portland Streetcar mixes safely with the traveling public. Whether you're a bicyclist, pedestrian, or motorist, we'll show you how to move safely along Tucson's streetcar corridor. Let's start with some important tips for cyclists. To help cyclists navigate, look for pavement markings along the route. Green pavement markings, sharrows, bike dots, and green bike boxes. Bike boxes allow cyclists to position themselves in front of vehicles at intersections. Whether you're turning left, right, or going forward, using the bike box allows cyclists to be more visible. The bike box also aids in turning safely, crossing over the tracks and street. Cyclists have two options to make a left turn, a two-stage left and a vehicular left. For a two-stage left, the cyclist arrive from the bike lane and proceeds forward to the far side of the intersection. With a pivot, the cyclist faces towards the intended direction, pauses, and then moves with the next phase of the traffic signal, crossing the track safely at as close to a right angle as possible. To make a vehicular left, the cyclist approaches the intersection, checks to ensure that all is clear, signals, then crosses over the track at as close to a right angle as possible, yielding to oncoming traffic and obeying traffic laws and signals. Other street markings designed to guide cyclists include bike dots and green pavement markings. Sharrows, or shared lane markings, have two benefits. They help cyclists position themselves safely within the lane and they alert motorists to the presence of cyclists in the same lane. Remember, a sharrow indicates that a lane is shared. It does not mean that a lane is dedicated to cyclists. Bicyclists traveling between traffic and parked vehicles along the route should be aware of the door zone. The door zone is created when a driver in a parked car opens his or her door into your travel space. Streetcar track can be a challenge to ride alongside and to cross for anything with wheels. Bicycles, wheelchairs, motorcycles, scooters. Front tires sliding on the smooth track surface and wheels dropping into the track gap are common causes of bike mishaps in the streetcar environment. Meeting the track at anything but a 60 to 90 degree angle can cause your wheels to drop into the track gap. When negotiating corners on your bike, it's natural to lean into your turn. But this means less grip on the road just when you need it most, crossing a rail. Try to approach tracks as upright as possible, perpendicular to the rails. Keep in mind that near some streetcar stops, and at some intersections, the tracks move over to hug the curb, which can lead to an otherwise avoidable squeeze. A little wobble here can lead to big trouble. Sometimes it may be best to take an alternate route. Let's recap what we learned. Avoid the door zone. Position yourself in the roadway at a distance from the track and from parked cars. Control your speed. Use green bike boxes. Cyclists have two options for left turns. Cross tracks as close to a right angle as possible. Pedestrians stay alert. The Sunlink streetcar, powered by electricity, moves quietly. Whether you're walking or riding, keep an eye out and use caution. Now here are some more tips for pedestrians moving along the streetcar corridor. Take care when walking over the track to avoid potential spills or catching high heels, canes, or anything with wheels in the track gap. Streetcar stops are located in the middle of the road and on the side of the road. That means you may be crossing the street to board at stops using new crosswalks. Use only designated crosswalks. If there is a walk signal, obey it. Look both ways before crossing and keep children close. So above all, be alert. New streetcar stops and vehicles may prevent those along the road from seeing pedestrians and may block pedestrians from seeing all the street action. So take care, obey all traffic signals and cross only at designated locations. Let's recap. Step over the track. Use designated crosswalks. If there is a walk signal, obey it. Look both ways before crossing. Keep children close. Soon, motorists will be sharing a travel lane with the Sunlink streetcar vehicles. Streetcar operators must obey the same traffic and speed laws as any motorist. If you're driving, be alert, stay focused, and signal your intentions. 
everyone traveling along, around, or across the Sunlink streetcar route should be on the lookout for upgrades, changes, and new ways of interacting with other travelers. Roadway space and safety demands may require you to drive on the streetcar track. Vehicle tires on the track may create the sensation of a shimmy, but no worries, the streetcar track isn't electrified. However, the overhead lines are hot, with over 750 volts running through them, not something to play around with. Green bike boxes and pavement markings indicate a cyclist zone. Don't stop on top of a green bike box. Keep it clear for cyclists. Typically, if the intersection has a green bike box, motorists won't be permitted to make a right on red. Look for signs to let you know. Remember, cyclists in the green bike box lead the way through the intersection with motorists following. When parking on the street along the route, pause and check your mirrors for cyclists, motorists, and streetcars. Exit your vehicle with caution. Let's look at what we learned. It's safe to drive on the streetcar rail. Do not stop on top of green bike boxes. Watch that right on red. Do not pass a streetcar while at a streetcar stop. When parking on the street along the route, park efficiently, pause, and check your mirrors before you exit and open your door with caution. With a little care and a little attention to each other, we can negotiate the Sunlink streetcar line safely and enjoy all the great benefits it brings to our city. For more safety information, visit the streetcar website at sunlinkstreetcar.com. Get streetcar street smart and get ready for the ride.